Hi all, uh, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKIT Support and this is our website which you can follow and also you can subscribe and today we will see uh, how to change the SID of uh, Windows Server 2003 and let me tell you why it is required and which, what is the situation we need to really do it. Uh, what happened is uh, to save some time what we do is we are uh, building machines in VMware workstation and what we do is we do some cloning of the machine to save some time uh, rather doing the installation again and again we can do a cloning okay so once we're doing a cloning it will be building a same sort of machine right so now what have happened is these two machines belong to a same uh, origin right because I've cloned it from this machine to this machine now what I've done is I have built a AD Active Directory on this and now uh, I have joined this machine to this particular machine right so now let's see what we are getting right so uh, let me log in with this this is our domain name what is AIK uh, lab right? I'm just putting the password okay so if I give the password it gives us an error that system cannot log you in the following error the name security ID is the domain security ID right? so that means uh, there is an issue with the SID right we need to really fix it okay I will show you how we can do it. So first thing is uh, you need to log in to the local credentials, right? And the second thing what I will do is I will remove this machine from domain to uh, work group. Let's say uh, AIK, okay. So it will ask the domain credentials. I will put that. Okay. So it's done. It's moved to work group. To take an effect, we need to reboot the system. Let me go to the server. Okay. So let me refresh. So we can see this machine has been removed. So what I do is I will delete it. Okay. Again, I have to go back to that machine. I will log in. Now I can see this is removed from domain. So what I need is, I need a installation CD of uh, Windows 2003 and we need to go to support, then go to tools and then you need to navigate to deploy.cal and copy all the files in a folder. Let's say I will create a folder here as tools and paste it. Hmm. So we need to launch this uh, tool, which is a Syspre. I will double click it. Okay, so running this uh, security. Okay, I will accept this. So you can see it's opened. Uh, okay, don't reset the uh, uh, grace period or activation. This right. Accept that. R rest of the things it will. Um, let's say I will ask for reboot. Right. So I will click factory. So what it do is it will uh, reset all the things and also release this ID and recreate this ID. So now it is rebooting and let's see.
it will take some time to really come up so it's up now I will log in with my local ID okay okay now it has been reset so uh, <coughs> what I will do is I will close this and I will open the command from I will clear the screen okay I just want to really uh, make sure that uh, the IP address are static on my server so what I will do is I will go to control panel go to settings I will property this, okay. go to TCP IP okay. you see that once we have done the reset so what has happened is uh, the IP ID is IP address has been washed up, so we need to put the IP address again. Put it 192.168.229.133. Okay, and the gateway is 192.168.229.2. And our DNS server, which is our Active Directory server, that is 192.168. Two two nine dot one three four. Okay. Close. Okay. So before doing anything, I need to really test it out <coughs> that we are able to communicate with the uh, our domain, right? That is aiklab dot local. Cool. I'm able to ping it. Okay. I will rejoin the machine to the domain. Okay, I will move it to AIK lab dot local. Click OK. It will ask me to put the credentials. I will put the ID and password. Uh, that is password is okay. Okay, now we have joined this machine to the domain. Click OK and reboot the machine. So after the reboot, we will check that are we able to really log in this time or still we are getting the SID error. So I just really jump into the AD server and quickly do a refresh. Where's my refresh button? Okay. Okay, I can see the machine is back and now it is not being. Sorry, something wrong has happened. Let me check. Okay, the machines are on. Okay. So I can see this. Right? Let me screen it. Okay. So now I can see uh, that this is my domain. Let me log in with the domain credential. That is. Okay, this time uh, I didn't get the SID error. That means the SID is being refreshed now. So I just really show you one more thing here. Okay, uh, I don't want it. Thank you. Um, I'll go there. I'll, okay, I can task manager, user. So you can see I'm logged in as AIK lab slash administrator. So it's a domain ID, not a local ID. Okay. Okay. What I will say is thank you for watching this video and do follow my channel as well. And also subscribe my website, which is AIKIDSupport.com. Thank you very much.